Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to not exotic astrology, but the transit of Mars into the sign of Gemini. I am in drikpanchang.com here. And if I look closely, um, Mars has entered the sign of Gemini and he will be staying here till 3rd of June this year. Okay. So till 3rd of June, he will be staying in the sign of Gemini and then he uh, is going to enter the sign of Cancer. Okay. So this is a very uh, interesting sign for Mars. Why do I say this? Because what's going on now? Let's go, in, let's go to today's uh, chart. Okay, so here I will change it uh, to now, which is 17th. Uh, this is Guwahati, Assam, India, 17th April. So now if I check what's going on. Today, I'm talking of today, Moon and Mars are in the sign of Gemini. So today is the day which will kickstart this transit. Why? Because um, whenever a transit changes, it does not give results till the moon conjuncts it, uh, goes and joins it, or it can also happen when moon is seven houses apart, because then this planet aspects the moon, or the moon aspects this planet, okay? So you would have started feeling the results of this transit from the morning itself. Mm. Uh, not morning, I'd say from today afternoon, because around that time, moon had entered uh, Gemini. Okay. So currently, moon has just cross, crossed Mars, and um, now Mars is in Gemini. So he was in this dreaded sign of Taurus. Why do I say dreaded sign of Taurus? Well, if you check in the chart, um, Rahu is in Taurus, okay. Is it dreaded because of that? Well, not really. There are many reasons. Why do I say dreaded sign of Taurus? Because you see the Lord of Taurus, Venus. He's not very well placed in transit. Okay. See where Venus is. Venus is currently uh, in the sign of Aries and he has been there for the last five, six days. Uh, but the thing is, even before that, he was in Pisces. Now you may say, oh, Pisces is the exaltation sign of Venus, right? So it's great. But the challenge with Venus is um, it is combust, okay? And even now it's combust. It's in the Tamsha, okay? Very close to the sun. Not very close though. But uh, if you check now, today, sun is in Aries, 3 degrees. And Venus is in 9 degrees of Aries. So still it's combust. It will be combust for some more time, okay? So therefore, this Lord of Taurus, which is Venus, is not be well placed in transit. And also, the demon, the Rakshas, the Atura, Rahu, is sitting in Taurus, okay. And um, on 28th March, this conjunction was at the peak. Uh, 28th March, if I see, Mars and Rahu were exactly conjunct. So whichever houses Mars rules in your chart, you might have felt that things have uh, being blown out of proportion on that date, okay? And especially this would happen related to the houses which, uh, the, uh, the house where Aries is falling, because Mars rules Aries and Scorpio, but Aries is the multi-gone sign, okay? And uh, some of you have said that, why, where is the background? Uh, why were you using this pic? Uh, there's some renovation work going on in my room. So it's not a very good uh, scene. So therefore I'm putting this and uh, hopefully very soon uh, I will be putting out the normal background, okay? And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then uh, please do subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, you can go to my uh, website down in the description section, okay? God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find it. So now what is this uh, transit of Mars in Gemini? Interesting transit, you see. What happens when Mars is uh, entering Gemini? See, what's Gemini? Gemini is the original third sign. Okay. But what people fail to understand is it is the own sign of Mercury. It is not the exaltation sign of Mercury. 
What does it mean? Om sign but not exaltation. What does it mean? Om sign means the big difference between Om sign and exaltation. Of course, Mercury is the only planet which gets exalted in its own sign. So Virgo is also the own sign and it's the sign of exaltation. So what are the differences actually? The most important difference between Gemini and Virgo is Virgo is actually Mercury. Gemini is what Mercury pretends or shows to be. Uh -huh. Okay. So whenever a planet transits Gemini or it transits for, uh, Virgo, that planet will have a tendency to behave like Mercury. What does it mean? It means the houses uh, which that planet rules. So suppose in your chart, Mars is ruling uh, the 10th house. This means maybe you are uh, Cancer Ascendant, for example. Aries is your 10th house, so Mars is your 10th lord. Okay. So when Mars is your 10th lord, and now this 10th lord is transiting in the sign of Gemini. So the thing is, your main agenda of course, the events are related to the 10th house, which is, you know, name, fame, power, position, career, authority, respect, dignity, and all this. But it's entering the sign of Gemini, which means it is, it is showing something, but that's not what the person wants. The person wants something else. Okay. So therefore, this is a very big trick. If you want to know how will a planet behave when he is uh, transiting Gemini, you must check where is Virgo in your chart. Wherever Virgo is in your chart, whichever house, that house will be the agenda of the planet. <laughs> and the house where Gemini is will, be the, will represent those traits which you are showing that you are wanting, but actually the agenda is where Virgo is. Okay, so if Virgo is your 10th house, that means your prime agenda is has something to do with career, name pain. But suppose uh, Gemini is uh, any random house, Gemini is your 7th house, for example, then it means that you are externally uh, going on collaborating or doing some business, okay? But your main aim is to be self-employed and have your own brand. See, the seventh house shows collaborations, business with others. But the tenth house shows your own brand, your own uh, identity. Okay, that's the tenth house. So therefore, whenever a planet is transiting Gemini, so now in this case Mars is transiting. Okay, so therefore the most important thing. Here, yeah, you need to understand is that when Mars transits Gemini, the houses which Mars rules, it might show as if you're trying to walk through them. Okay. Gemini represents those things which uh, you know that you may not be successful doing, but you still do. It's an attempt. But Virgo represents those things which you know that these are the things I must do. There is no compromise because that's the exaltation sign of Mercury, okay? So that means whenever a planet is transiting uh, the sign of Gemini, it's a great time for you to take risks, okay? But calculated risks. Risk doesn't mean you just do anything you want, okay? So some kind of calculated risk you need to take. Now what that risk is, that will depend on which house is Mars rules and which dashas are you running? Mahadasha, Antar, Dasha, Pratyantar. And also it depends on where is Mars and where is Mercury in your original birth chart. Okay. And it can also happen that, see, whenever a planet transits Gemini, it somehow happens that all the communication in your life is surrounding to that planet. The houses with that planet rule. Okay. So as I said, if Mars is your 10th floor, you are a, a, a Cancer Lagna then your 10th floor is transiting Gemini, which means all the communication around you will be somehow centered around 
carrier name claim power position authority, something like this. Okay. So this is very crucial because Gemini energy gives this platform where you can actually communicate. Okay. So that means uh, when Mars is transiting Gemini, it is a good time for you to make connections regarding the houses which Mars rules in your chart. Okay. So therefore, check your chart which houses Mars rules. Okay. And then try and see how many risks can you take which are the areas that you can communicate and do better, okay? But do not forget Virgo. Virgo is the, the main agenda of Mercury, okay? So therefore, keep a watch on Virgo also. Which house is Virgo? That, that's like the main agenda, okay? That will be all from my side. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below and consultations to my website below, okay? Thank you very much.